What's up guys? I'm coming back with you coming back at you with a profile of Shuranui again. I got some new cards in to help it. And I think I've improved it a lot. I've been playtesting it and it seems to be playtesting quite well. I'm also going to apologize for the Dynamis profile that I posted a couple of days ago. I can't even remember when <laughs> when I did it. But it was filmed on on this camera. And because this camera was sort of, you know, it's a bit more compact and easier to use out rather than here. So next time I'm probably just going to film it on this in the same place when I get profiles, hopefully. But yeah, that's enough sort of babbling, I guess, and just get into the profile. So, you know, first up is the standard zombie lineup with, you know, with the one plague spreader, the the three Unizombie, the one zombie master, the two goblin zombie, and then the three Mizuki. You know, um, we've got that for a of recurring tuna. We got this for. Being a foolish burial, we got this for recurring other stuff. We got this for search power, and this for more recurring recursion. And then, for the namesake of the deck, the Shurinui lineup. So we got two of the Spectral Sword. If you don't know what he does, he essentially allows you to tune from the deck, uh, sorry, Synchro Summon from the graveyard by banishing him and another zombie for a zombie. Um, and we got Shurinui Samurai, he's essentially like a Kataster in a way, but he banishes and he gains 600 for banishing, um, you gain six, right, essentially, sorry, you banish a zombie type monster and he gains 600 and then any monster that he battled will be banished after damage calculation. So similar to Catasto in a way. Then we got Smith, who is again a search card for whenever he actually um, gets used as a synchro material. And then uh, Spirit Master, who essentially can special summon from the grave and from the hand. They also have their banishing, their effects for when they are banished. So Smith is target a card on the field, target a face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. Then Smith is, um, you, zombie type monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, and then Samurai, I do believe, gets a zombie from your banish zone and adds it to your hand. The Shirinui uh, Shogun no, sorry, Shurinui Spectral Sword doesn't have a banishing effect because it banishes itself. But yeah, you want to be using Spectral Swords alongside uh, all of these with their effects. So that it sort of, you know, triggers them and makes you more annoying to kill. Then for just some utility cards, we got a glow up bulb for Nat Beast and Mathematician just for setting up the graveyard. Now for spells, we got one of we got Foolish Burial, Raigeki, Gold Sark, and an Allure of Darkness. Some people might get a bit annoyed when I do Allure of Darkness in this profile, but we run how many darks is it? We run one, two, three, four, five, six. We run seven darks at the main deck, which you should at least have one at the same time as Allure. It just gets the dead ones out of your hand, and you know, it's, it's actually really quite good. Uh, Gold Sark will trigger the effects of uh, your Shiranui's, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, Ragaki and Foolish are self explanatory if you know how to play. Uh, for two elves, we only play two different two elves. We play Inferno Reckless Summon, and then two Book of Life. 
uh, there we go. Two book of life and two inferno reckless summon. They're just for extra summoning summon a bit summon a bit of tea. Inferno allows you to spam the field with uh which ones is it? You can spam the field with your spirit masters, smiths, spectral swords, um goblin zombies uh and una zombies. So those are the cards that you can actually use with it. And then Book of Life obviously interacts with all zombies. So that's that's all the spells we run. It's not very many, but it's the best ratio I found. Then for traps, we don't play any one of traps, but so instantly two of we play Shurinui, Style, Swallow Slash. The last time I tried to film this I messed up saying that. It's essentially like a uh Icarus attack. You can turn it it targets two once it targets two cards on the field, but you can make it target three, depending on which um Shiranui you banish from the deck. Then we have two Solemn Strike. Self explanatory if you played this format. And then two fiendish chain and there goes a book of life. Two fiendish chain and finally for the triple I play triple called the haunted because you can't ever have too much recursion in the deck. Then on to the extra deck. The extra deck consists of two Shurinui Shogun Saga. For this is eights. Two Shurinui Sh Shogun Saga. An Enlightened Monk Paladin. Void Ogre Dragon, a Beals, the Diabolical Dragon. People run him at two in like practically any zombie deck, but I don't think that's the right idea because you can use him to bait things out, like your um, like your opponents' uh, summon negations and all sorts, as well as their castells and all that kind of thing. Um, but Spamming him is not very good. You can easily get him back with some of the cards that I have later. Well, with a card that I have later on, but yeah. And then for the last eight, I run a Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. So, if you don't know what Shogun Saga does, I should explain. When he's summoned, special summoned. So it could be, if you call the Haunted it. You can banish one zombie type monster and it gains the attack. So a good combo is to... I'll show you the combo later. It's a little combo, it's nothing amazing. But yeah, and then if it's destroyed you can target one of your banished zombies and return it to the graveyard. Enlightenment Paladin acts as a... It sort of acts as a... a Sorry, a Volcasaurus of sorts. And then Void Ogre is because you want to negate stuff and Scarlight can go for game, like Cowboy can. So yep, that's all of the eights. Then for the sixes we run a single Goyo Guardian and then two Samurai Saga, which is where the mini combo comes in. If you have Samurai Saga in the grave, and you have a, a Spectral Sword in the grave, then you can banish, banish the, uh, actually no, sorry, I've said that wrong. If you have a Shirinui Samurai Saga on the field, and you, and you Synchro for a Shogun Saga, then you instantly banish this, get its effect off, and then you have a 55 beat stick on the field, which is actually really cool. Which also can attack over whatever was losing 500 from Samurai Saga. But Samurai Saga also returns one of your banished monsters to the deck, and if he does, then any monster with less attack than the monster that you returned will be turned to defense position. So yeah, and then I'm going to just put this here, but the final monster is obviously Nat Beast. Obvious reasons really, nothing special about it. 
nothing really to say. On to the XYZs. I only run I run two threes and three fours. But some of this is not really optimal because you know Levi arrows because you can get some cool combos off with Levi Air and I do believe it's what is it? Mizuki, yeah. Then I play a Leviathan Dragon just for the lols. Uh, I need to get a better 3. I don't actually have a very good three, a rank 3 toolbox, so that's why I put that in there. Then I've got an Abyss Dweller. And then my nasty CT12 uh, cast out. But my lovely DT. Um, Digesto Emerald, which will put back practically anything you've got. So, yeah, that's really it for the profile. Um, it's a very strong deck. I would not recommend taking it to an event because you will get your ass kicked. Essentially, you'll get the shit kicked out of you. And, but it's fun. It's actually a really nice sort of free, free-flowing deck that can pull off some really cute combos when it really wants to. But yeah, that's all I really have for the deck profile, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you.